Hello everyone. I hope you're excited as I am. Misha. Hey, oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Where are we going? Hey, where are we going? Yeah. Greetings, everyone. Hope you're excited as my dog and I are. We're just going to be heading off on another adventure. Hey, Rachel. Where are you going? Hey. Oh, I should not go that way. That way is Thornton. We're gonna get out this way and we're gonna be going and getting some watercress for another boil up. It's been like oh this will be three weeks since the last boil up. And it's gonna be our tea tonight again. So hopefully there'll be some watercress there. Welcome back. We're finally at our watercress spot. Oh, finally made it. Just gotta walk through this freaking mud. Well, it's a really nice day after yesterday's heavy rain we had. It's a nice day today. And I hope. There might be some watercress here somewhere. You guys might have remembered uh, last time we came in the school holidays with my uh, my daughter, my niece, and my nephew, and we came across quite a bit. So hopefully there'll be some more today. Have a look around the corner here. Take the old dog out for a bit of a run as well. So, and I think I might be getting my feet wet again. And uh, last night we had a uh, probably the coldest night we've had so far this year. Had to put the old electric blanket on last night. A bit cooler than usual. It's uh, what is it now? Probably the 20th of May, so I suppose not doing too bad. We haven't put a fire on yet. Well, hopefully, the blooming watercresses are growing since last time we were here. came across a little patch over here I'll just show you this little watercress patch here we might some grab some of this let's have a look here there's some watercress there see so it's not really in running water I prefer picking watercress that's uh, flown in water Hi everyone, driving past. The fuzz, keep on driving, don't stop here. I'm doing nothing. Fish to you, Marys. Right, it's time to pull the pants up and get in this cold water, I think. Ooh, it's not like swimming in summertime. I pull my pants up. Hey, don't get wet. Hey, go for a swim. Yeah, bro. Hey, go for a swim. Hey, yeah, bro. Hey, go for a swim. Right, let's go in and pick some uh, watercress. Ooh, damn, son. Be some good eeling around here too. This little spot here. Get off there, Al. Shh. 
shit, my quicksand here. Ugh. Um, I'll go over here first, I think. Get that little patch there. Oh, yep. That was quite good there. Yep, I'm about to pick a bit from here. Some there, some over there a bit. But you better pick a couple of bags from here. Well, rather than get here, stay here in the cold water, I think I better start picking. Over here, right by where the watercress is growing, is some nice big pieces of puha or um, what can they call it, milk thistle. Uh, I'm going to pick some of this later on from another spot, but it just sort of tells you that you can, if you're looking around, you know what you're looking for, you'll be able to find um, other bits of food. So I found some puha here growing right next to. The water, so watercress over there and puha's just here. Here are some good puha plants, the mothers I call them, with the flowers on them, the seeds. So you let Mother Nature do its course, and there we have to see what the baby puha seeds. The wind blows them off, and then they sprout up new puha. There's a flower from it. You can also eat this in the boil up. Add that with the flavour. Nice and healthy for you. There's some flowers. Well, we're nearly finished. Just picked three. Ouch. Just picked three good bagfuls. Um, this is. I'm showing the spot here. This is where I started from picking. Uh, had a good patch here the first time. The last time I went here, came here with my niece and um, nephew and daughter. We got um, bugger raw because this was all sort of like nearly dead. But um, it's made a really good comeback. And because of the running water that runs past it, it sort of grows quite quickly. Must bring in a lot of nutrients. So we're going to bag, uh, pick a little bit from here and let the rest grow. So we've got three good sized bags. And it's enough for a good feed. Well, we've picked our watercress. Now I'm just having a look around for some puha. A bit of the old infusion with the watercress. So, just going to pick a few bits and pieces here and just add a bit of flavour. Oops, there you are. Yeah, so we're just going to pick a, just a, maybe a bag full of puha just to give your watercress a bit of a infused taste as the Europeans would say See all these young ones here in a month or two they'll be already thick so we'll leave those
Well, I've got to say something that really pees me off is that people who eat their fast foods, their KFCs, their Kaifa Cuzzies, their McDonald's, come down a place like here, eat that shit food, and then chuck their bloody rubbish out the window. Yeah, that really pisses me off. There's a couple of big bins over there. Well, they just, you know, rather than chuck it out the freaking window, go and put it in the bin. So look at that, see, this is where I pick my poo, huh? And these people don't even see the food here. Oh, very litter bugs, man. Got no freaking respect at all, whatsoever. Uh, you've seen this all before me doing my boil up putting the meat on in the pot so here it is just one more time and here's the pork bones $12.72 from pack and spend I use those as nice cheap cheap cuts of meat So that ruby, that rib part there would be nice on the old barbecue. That, but we just add all that meat, the bones. Yeah, my dog's lucky; she might get one. Mm, maybe not. Well, she might be. Yeah, I'll give her this one here. Racer, here you go. What is this? Yeah. Yep. Oh, hold on. Open and lock the door. Stay here, Edu. Thank you. Yep. Damn it, says Edu. No, bro. You're not going to have any of that. You big hamu. Edu the hamu. Yep, so I put that in there, and then a couple of pork chops, which I also sell use. A couple of pork chops as well. No, you do. You do once the pork chops. Put that also in the pot. Some people use bacon bones or um, brisket or mutton chops or. But this has always been our favourite here. Pork chops, pork pieces. It's a bit more expensive, but that's what I like to eat. Oh, better turn the stove on first. Up to about there, and then we're just going to add some salt. Yep. That'll be enough of that. The lid on and we'll give that a couple of hours. We're out here, I'll just show you my, my winter garden. Not much at the moment, but there it is. Got a few brassicas in there, and um, that's about it. And some parsley, and a few puha mother plants. And here is our um, bounty from today. There's one, two, three, four, and a little bag full of puha. Happy with that. And there's our pumpkin from the garden, which I'll put in tonight. So how's that? It's a pretty chocolate block too, that one's pretty full. So we'll take it over over across the road. Pretty good alright, eh? Yep. And that's our some of our tea tonight. There it is, the pork cooking nicely. The idea of this is to get it nice and 
tender so it just falls off the bone and it's not chewy or tough or it just melts in the mouth sort of stuff so um, here's the meat a shout out for this one for you as usual uh, Herb Sherman I know you Herbie you that you um, get quite jealous of our watercress and uh, I hope you were successful in in getting your puha trying to find it over there in England and also uh, another big shout out to Black Barney who's been enjoying watching my videos with his family and his kids uh, thanks for all the, all the positive um, comments that you guys give uh, it's not easy getting out there and well, it's easy to film it but it takes a while to edit it all especially when I do these longer videos these vlog, vlog style things so um, um, yeah thanks for the comments and I'm really glad that you guys uh, enjoy watching my videos so hopefully you enjoy this one too as I'm going to enjoy eating it some pork crackly mmm yum yeah.